Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, robotic technology inspired by cockroaches, a 3D wearable mouse, selling Google's internet glasses, mystery solving lasers, and multiplying the power of light. An international team of scientists have found that the material graphene is incredibly efficient at converting light into electricity. The single photon that graphene absorbs can be converted into multiple excited electrons that could drive electric current. The discovery shows graphene as a possible alternative material for light detection and harvesting technologies. The experiment used to il illustrate this capability was carried out by sending a certain number of photons with different energies or colors onto a mono layer of graphene. The high energy photons, which were violet in color, were converted into a greater number of excited electrons when compared to low energy photons like infrared. Researchers are now searching for ways to extract the electrical current and enhance the absorption capabilities of graphene. They hope that they will soon be able to design graphene-based devices with the ability to detect and convert light more efficiently, potentially leading to more efficient solar cells. Personally, you can keep the solar cells. Light to energy, excited electrons, light detection and harvesting, photons of different colors. Is there any doubt where this is really going? That's right, boys and girls. We're right around the corner from trimming hedges, carving turkeys, and ruling the galaxies with light six. Researchers at the University of Michigan are studying cockroaches in order to advance robotic technology. By observing the characteristic movements and reactions of their nervous systems, scientists have gained new insights which could help in engineering steadier robots and improving the understanding of human gait abnormalities. The scientists used kinematic phase analysis, which uses signals from the cockroach's movement to create a wave graph. Upon analysis, they found that the roaches are able to maintain their footing in a rather mechanically oriented way. They use their momentum and spring-like legs as well as distinct impulses sent from their nervous system. The substantial delay of the nervous system is significant because it contradicts assumptions in the robotics community where computers stand in for brains and the machine's movements are guided by continuous feedback from sensors on the robot's feet. Researchers feel that these findings imply that the brain of cockroaches, as possibly other species, adjusts the gait periodically rather than via continuous feedback. This new approach could lead to more balanced and energy efficient robotic vehicles for ground-based operations such as search and rescue, military defense, and space exploration. Computer mouse technology is being advanced by Nick Mestrandria of Ohio-based Innovative Developments. The Mycestro is a thumb-activated wireless 3D mouse that attaches to your pointer finger. The technology uses 3D space recognition to control the computer without the need for a de dedicated mouse or touchpad. It's about the size of a Bluetooth earpiece, has a range of up to 30 feet, and the rechargeable battery lasts up to 8 hours. The space recognition technology of Mycestro is a combination of algorithms and sensors based on finger interaction with a touch-sensitive panel located between the finger and thumb. The mouse also lets the user program their own personalized gesture commands along with the standard mouse capabilities. The Mycestro uses Bluetooth 4.0 low energy protocol, is charged through a USB, and of course is PC and Apple friendly. Its creators expect the device to be available by the end of the year, creating the perfect combo holiday gift for these guys. I wear while I'm swimming, can't miss a call. I rock it while I'm jogging in the mall. And I don't mind that I look like a real big wanker. Cause it wirelessly connects to my sound, my facts, my pager. I wear it while I sleep, cause I'm that obsessed. I wear it while my house gets repossessed. The latest in wearable computing technology comes in the form of internet connected glasses from Google. The new Google glasses are part of a new competition for those seeking to get their hands on a pair of the unique glasses. They perform much like a smartphone does, except that they are a worn, hands-free device that responds to voice commands. The glasses have a small integrated screen at the rim of the spectacle above the right eye that runs on the Android operating system. Users can use the glasses to take pictures, record video, and surf the internet anytime, anywhere. Along with the video and photos, interested applicants must submit an explanation of up to 50 words, describing what they would do with the Google Glass technology. Winners will be awarded with the newest Explorer version of Google Glass, which is expected to be released to the masses next year. Physicists at MIT and the U.S. Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory are measuring fleeting electron waves in search of clues behind the mysterious mechanism of high temperature superconductivity, or HTS. 
The phenomenon allows electric currents to pass more efficiently through materials when they are chilled to sub-zero temperatures. The discovery could revolutionize the electricity chain as we know it, from generation to transmission and grid-scale storage. One of the possible explanations for HTS lies in understanding fleeting fluctuations called charge density waves, or CDWs. However, contrary to long-thought theories, researchers have found that these waves are not the root cause of unparalleled power conveyance in HTS materials. Rather, they're formed independently in competing instability. Through the use of custom-grown superconductor, researchers were able to test and analyze the electron waves. The significant hurdle in electricity conduction lies in the amount of lost energy through heat due to atomic scale friction. Since certain impurities in the standard conducting materials cause electrons to scatter, a new technique has been sought to eliminate that friction. The physicists found that when cooled down to a low temperature, the electrons rippled differently through the 2D matrix. And at even lower temperatures, these films became superconducting. The new laser technique yielded some new information into the understanding of high temperature superconductivity, but the causes of the phenomenon remain a mystery. Sounds to me like they need four meddling teenagers and one gluttonous mutt. That wraps up this week's report. I'm Jeff Ranke, and the force has been strong with this engineering update. Thank you.